and welcome everyone to episode 33 of Storytime with Mikey. Uh, this episode is uh, more of a cheerful episode, actually. Very rare for this series. Um, I want to talk about my little doggy. Yes, my little puppy dog. Um, he is the love of my life. He's like a child to me. And I've had him since he was six weeks old. He is now 10 years old and he'll be 11 in October. And um, he is quite the headache. He is very, <laughs> very much a troublemaker. But I love him dearly. And one of the very first pictures I ever got of him, because uh, this was, I think this is when he was a few weeks old after I got him, uh, 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 maybe a month old. But um, it was in my old apartment when I was living with my grandmother. And I put him in a shoebox. <laughs> and he popped out. And I took that picture. <laughs> uh, it's just adorable. And this is also another good picture of him. Of me and him. Me at a, at a, from an old-timey photo uh, thing. Dressed as, a, dressed as a cowboy. Holding my little puppy dog. And then staring at the camera. Don't know what's going on in the world. And in more reason. This was from his 10th birthday. He always has to yawn on the camera. It's like whenever, I, whenever I'm filming him, he's either yawning or he's looking away from the camera because he doesn't know what to do. And his name is Jonathan. You've seen him in some vlogs before. There's also a video on the channel, a very old video of mine, where he was eating a marshmallow and uh, was failing to do so. It was very <laughs> odd. He's just gnawing at it and it's going nowhere. There's no progress but I just thought I would sit down and record a video for the series talking about my dog as um, he is getting older and um, I want to be able to talk more about him and hopefully show him more on video uh, while I can. And his breed, he could, he could make it to 15 years old if he uh, doesn't get sick or injured and God forbid. But uh, it's just like as every year goes by, I get more and more worried for him. And I want to sit down. I want to talk about him and um, say that he's the first dog I've had uh, this long. Most dogs I've had, I either have to get rid of because of where I'm living. Um, I end up in the situation where I can no longer financially care for the pet or they've run away. He is the first dog of mine where I have kept him from six weeks old up until present where he where he'll be eleven this year. And he may not show it, but he loves me. He's over there now on the couch in a bit of a grumpy mood. A very typical mood for him. He's always in a grumpy mood. But I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, don't give me that stink eye. Um, but I mean, do you all have pets and do you like them as children? Do you think of them as your child, as I do? I often call him my son and I love him to death. When I was living with my grandmother, when I first got him for those first few months, uh, she was very mean to him and I did everything I could to keep him safe from her. The things that I had to see, I saw her do to him, uh, drove me to rage. To a very deep rage. And I'm, I'm like that with anybody who abuses animals. Especially little lap dogs. They are defenseless. They're helpless. And if, you're, if you think you can hurt them, you have no soul, no heart, to cause physical and emotional pain to a, such a small creature. And so I am very protective of him, especially for, for the city I live in. The city I live in, very dangerous city. So I am very careful when I take him out for his walks during the evening. I'm very careful with him, even when I'm when he's at home. And. I enjoy every single moment I have with him. 
He was a Christmas present from my mother in 2013. Is, um, he was ready. He was born in October. He was ready to be released by December, and I got him a couple of days before Christmas from my mother, who surprised me because she, she didn't tell me she was going to get me a dog, but she'd known for quite a few years that I wanted a dog, and I got one. And he's been in my care ever since, except for two weeks when he was three years old. I, I had, uh, I needed to get some things done. And I had my mother take care of him for two weeks. And she loves him to death as well. So he was in good hands for those two weeks. Spoiled rotten. I, she had spoiled him completely in the span of two weeks, let me tell you. He came back to me wanting nothing but treats for doing nothing. <laughs> and... um I, I I know this isn't a very exciting story. Typically, I'm here talking about what I've been through, what I was put through, and who did what to me. This is more of a sappy, uh, heartfelt story. So uh, thank you all for watching this more boring episode of the series, and I hope to see you uh, in the next video. Cheers.